What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we gotta get the rest of this stuff ready for the full drive swap. So we gotta do a little bit of paint work, get the stuff cleaned up and looking a lot better. The few last remaining pieces here, we got front and rear drive lines, cross member, and front differential. So we gotta do, I wanna get these painted today. As far as the rear drive line goes, I believe I only need this front section. So I might unbolt that and just paint this section here. Just because I'm pretty sure that is all I need. And I think the drive line that's on that four door is in better shape anyway. So I'm just gonna use this front half, uh, front drive line, we're gonna get painted. Um, as far as this mount goes, I'm probably pull the actual mount off of this cross member and just paint the cross member itself. There's still a little bit of junk on here. So we're gonna do a little bit of cleaning. I already pressure wash these as you guys saw, but I'd probably take a wire brush or a wire wheel on the drill and get off all this really hard to get off stuff that didn't come off in the pressure washer. So we'll do that. I gotta drain the oil out of the differential because it keeps leaking out of the sides even though I have a rag in there. So I'm gonna drain the oil just to make sure that's not any issue and then we can clean up the oil that dripped off, get all that cleaned up and get some paint on it. So what I'm gonna be using on the rusted stuff is this stuff right here. I used this in the past and it seems to do a pretty good job. And then I'm gonna top coat it with the Napa chassis black paint. Had really, really good luck with this stuff.
Well, I got one more coat to do on this stuff. I gotta flip it over and hit the other side. But I forgot I was going to do these axles too because they will always rust. So I wanna paint this, this, and this section here. So we're gonna just clean it up with some acetone, mask off the boots and the ends of the shafts here and here and then we'll use some self etching primer to really dig in and etch into this bare steel and then we'll do the same black paint on top just to keep it from rusting There we go, axles are painted looking good. No more rust issues with those. Here's the rest of the stuff. Turned out really good. So, if you look at this bushing, you can see it's kind of like bubble gum. Kind of feels like bubble gum. So I actually bought a set of bushings and uh, seals for here and the other side. So once I get those in, We'll rip these mounts off. Yeah, I'll probably ruin my paint job because we got to heat the crap out of this thing to get these bushings out. So I may have to repaint the brackets, not a big deal, but I just want to get these replaced because that does not feel like it's going to last very long. This one, it feels pretty solid, but I picked up the, I think they're Durabump brand. It's the only company that makes a replaceable mount for these. You can buy this from Toyota, but you have to buy the entire thing and I'm sure it's not very cheap. So. Mounts are like 60 bucks for the inserts or the rubbers to put in here. So once we get those in and the seals, we can get all that stuff done and we'll be all finished up. All right, guys, we got our bushings and seals in. So I'll have this stuff linked down below if you want to check it out about OEM seals. And then these are the Dura Bumps uh, bushings here. So these aren't supposed to be replaceable. The bushing from the factory is kind of molded into the actual metal steel mount here. So we gotta basically pull the mounts off and torch this until it basically melts that rubber so we can push that out and then we'll clean that up, get it all ready for these new bushings, which they don't really press or glue in. They just kind of push in there and they're held in with the bolts into the frame. So these are a lot stiffer mount, should be a lot better than, especially one of these, like I said, it was feeling like uh, bubble gum. So we'll have to pull these mounts off, get the torch out, get these burned out of here and then we can tackle the axle seals. All right, we got the mounts off. Make sure you do this outside. It's gonna be very stinky. That melted rubber is definitely not good for you to breathe. So come outside and we're just gonna to torch around the bushing, get that melted inside, and then we can push the bushings out of the mounts.
All right, we got these bushings out. They came right out. If you get it hot enough, you can see it slides right out and inside is actually pretty clean. So I decided I'm just gonna powder coat these since probably honestly faster than painting it and letting the paint dry in order to get the bushings in. So let's get these sandblasted and powder coated. Well, we got the mount in the oven. I figured it'd be a good time to work on these seals while they warm up. So we're gonna pull these seals out and see if we can't get these new ones installed. All right, powder coating is done, looking really good. So we gotta get these bushings in. I don't know, they seem pretty tight. I'm gonna put some Dawn dish soap on the bushings and try to get them in. If they don't go in, I may have to get it set up in the vise just to press them in, but we'll see what a little bit of uh, dish soap will do.
There it is guys, our brand new looking differential. Should be ready to go into the truck. Bushings and seals are ready to go. Well that's it guys, all the parts we need for that four wheel drive swap should be good to go. So now we can get the truck in here and finally start ripping this thing down, tearing it apart and swapping the four wheel drive in. I am so excited to get started on this thing. Like I said, it's been like six, seven months since I bought this truck. So you can imagine how excited I am. It's just been sitting down in the carport collecting dust. So I can't wait to bring it in the shop and start tearing it up. So that should be the next video. Get the truck in here, start tearing this thing apart. Really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Go smash that thumbs up button, comment, subscribe. We'll see you in the next one.